Okay, and I think I'm live now. So, hey everybody, Ben here from DMZ Films and Cinderblock Studios, and I'm back with Live Hangout. Oh, I never know the number of these things. 36. Uh, today's episode is called Chalky, as in I'm working with chalk pastels. So, piece I've got going on here, uh, some of you may have seen on my DeviantArt page, and I can't remember if I was doing a uh, sketch of this at some point. I don't... It's hard to keep track of all this stuff. But anyhow, what uh, I have here is um, a sort of bit of a barren, landscape-y type thing. I got these rocks and sort of the sand and other things, and I got these flags I'm going to be doing. And uh, right now I'm just kind of laying down uh, base color. Uh, that's, at a certain point, I'll have to hit this with some workable fixative so I can move on to the next step. But for the time being, I'm just kind of coating it with a nice heavy coat of... Uh, pastel all the way across the uh, the piece. So I'm just kind of playing around with base colors, and uh, about halfway through this little section uh, down here, uh, with this I have these purpley things going on here, and uh, playing with shadows with purple and red right now, and seeing what that what the, the colors that I have do. Uh, it's been a really long time since I've worked on a large-scale pastel piece. I've been doing little stuff here and there, trying to get back into it, but this is the first thing I've done in... Uh, first real major pastel piece that I've done in years, so... Uh, really just kind of playing around with that. So this is sort of a, like an Indian red. I'm really liking this color. Try not to overdo anything too much, but uh, need to stick with uh, you know the right sort of brownish values. And I've I think I've said this before in previous hangouts and uh, other videos, but chalk pastels really kind of help teach you to paint in a little bit of a way uh, because you get to layer and blend these colors together in ways that um, would probably be more associated with paint than with pastel. There are some people that actually call pastel drawings paintings and uh, I kinda wanna punch those people in the face but um, in, in some ways they're right uh, that because the way you're kind of moving color and blending it, but personally I think painting is anything that's wet, so... And then there's a little bit of a overlap between, is like, is oil pastel wet because it's oily, or is it still a dry media? Nobody really knows. There's a lot of argument on both sides of that uh, spectrum. And my pastels today are both cheap, expensive, and sort of mid-grade. I've got uh, low cor lower cor low Cornell pastels, which you can pick up at Michael's, and they're dirt cheap. Uh, I've got some Prismacolor new pastels, and I've got the super uh, fancy Rembrandt pastels. I'm just using all of them, mixing them together, you know. Just whatever color I need, and whatever I need to do with it at the time. So once I hit this with uh, fixative, which won't, which will probably be the end of today, uh, not in the hangout, but after that I'll be able to go in with like ink or something over top of it to start bringing in some detail. But for the time being, I'm just kind of throwing value in. <coughs> it seems really dark on camera. Let's see if I can brighten that up for you guys a little bit.
That looks a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and share this event and make sure it's <clears throat> sent out to the people that it needs to be. <clears throat> so, uh, this uh, one another thing I want to bring up here. I don't know if I said this already. I might not. I might have. I might not have. But this piece is going to be a time lapse drawing, <coughs> as well as a time lapse and commentary. Um, so look forward to that. <laughs> when I basically it's going to be whenever this drawing's done and I get around to those things. And the trick with these pastels is really not to overmix anything either. Because a lot of times you're going to have these sections of color that you want to mix. and Kind of like the way I do clouds, I kind of come up to the edge and then kind of pull away a bit. <clears throat> okay, so I want to grab... Oh, I don't know. Need a sort of a lighter brown color. Gotta start filling in some space. A little bit darker on the far side. Shake off the excess. Sometimes you gotta blow a little off too. All right. Now, still kind of have this little extra bit of red there that's kind of sticking out where it doesn't need to. There we go. That looks a little better. And 
and I kind of, <coughs> you know, have a basic plan here. But uh, for the most part, uh, with using the chalk pastels, I'm kind of just winging it, um, kind of make it up as I go along, and uh, grab a little of this brighter yellow here. That looks pretty good. <clears throat> a little bit of this color up here. purple tones in here. Some of that funny red. Sitting right on top of it for shadows. Just trying to match everything now. Like This is kind of on this same layer, so I want to make sure these colors are close enough to these colors so it doesn't offset anything too much. <clears throat> okay, so for this next layer, I actually want to get more darks. I'm going to start blending some of the darks with some of these other sections. I need to put something here that I forgot. Let's start over here. And I originally put sort of this paper down on here, but not even going to be able to see it when I'm done. But And you really kind of, it's usually when I try and avoid black, because black can do some really nasty things with the pastels. You can kind of rectify it when you're painting, but pastel-wise, it's a little harder. So starting right off of the bare surface here, it's going to be really hard to build up to where I was over here, because it's... This is over here is so much thicker with pastel, and this over here because it's so thin, it takes longer to build those colors and the uh, the depth of these things up a little bit. The only real downside to working in pastels is that it gets all over your hands. So you've got to kind of watch where you're touching. That, get this color. I really like this color. I don't know what it is, but I'm enjoying it. Okay, go with this one a little bit. A little more orange. Shouldn't need too much of that. And I 
this. I know this looks like such a mess right now, but as soon as I start blending things, it's really going to start coming to life. Okay, so let me drop the pigment off. And start up here. Just kind of pull it around. This is like first layer blending. I'll be throwing a whole bunch more color on over top of this because this is way too bright and obnoxious. Let me throw some gray tones into this. Grab my blending stump and pull some of this out a bit. So I want to make sure this section behind it falls behind it. So I'm actually going to need a little bit of black for this. But just a tiny little bit. So I know that that's underneath that section. <laughs> kind of have the dust mixing in places where it shouldn't and uh, that kind of sucks especially this is why it's good to kind of fix your layers as you go which I did not do here at all but uh, okay so I need a nice dark, but I also want gray, so I think we're going to gray out over top of some of these reds. Go dark some of these areas. Actually, gonna go a little bit, a little bit of black too, right in here. And I want to kind of keep this slightly more angled. Okay, I'll start with my dark stone too. The black here is really just representing my heaviest, darkest darks, biggest shadows, that kind of that kind of thing. I'm trying to be more self-conscious of how often I use the phrase "that kind of thing." <laughs> Could almost turn it into a drinking game with all my videos. With how often I say it. Mm. Okay, so we're going to start pulling some lighter colors back in, especially for these sort of highlighty areas. Plateau that a bit. Need more 
horizontal motions here. Kind of playing with where my land's going to sit. Actually, one don't want to blend this too much. Want this to stay pretty much solid. So it's not back, not really doing the back and forth thing. Just kind of pulling in one direction. That looks really good, actually. What the way that's looking? Get a little bit more white in there. The harder you pull, the more it's going to sort of look a little bit more faded. <laughs> kind of blow downward there. <clears throat> Get some more of that funny red. side of this. I get that. I want to get that deep brown. Same thing as before. That real simple. Just pulling down now. really nice now. All right. <clears throat> so, if I pause my camera up there. And see what you guys are up to. See if there's any comments in the chat and what else is happening. Make sure my comment tracker is working. Yep, things seem to be doing all right. Okay. So if you happen to be just tuning in, I'm working on a pastel piece, something I haven't been doing <coughs> in quite a while. And... Uh, at least not in, in this big of a scale, anyhow. And so I'm kind of just playing around with that and seeing what I can do with it. Um, basically laying down some heavier layers of color. I'm actually not entirely sure how I feel about the background right now, and that's not a good thing for me to be thinking about right now, since 
I spent a lot of time on the background, and um, it's kind of be difficult to change it at this point. Um, I kind of want to go over top of these mountains in the background. I don't really like the color of them. I can probably manage to do that to some degree. I'd like to get a... Oh, I'm not sure what kind of color would work well for that. I think about using my, my purple a little bit. Just to kind of get that uh, bit of a majestic fog kind of thing going on there. Um, not really sure exactly. Again, uh, most of this piece I'm kind of just winging and feeling it out as I go along. I think I'll be able to hit this with a blending stump to be more accurate with it though. It should give me a little bit of freedom from the layers I've been putting on. And it shouldn't be too, too bad. Actually, with my mountains, I've been doing pretty much all of them vertical. I actually need to do a horizontal layer as well. I didn't think about that earlier. And, uh, I'd like to bring some white down in the, the base. Pull a little mist into it as well. So we'll see what we can do in a minute here. Once I finish laying out the rest of this color... Okay, grab a white, pull a little more white in from the bottom. Okie dokie, so time for the blending stump again. We're going to take that and uh, actually move the way the camera is. I'm going to try and zoom in on that a little bit. Not, uh, not the camera you're seeing, but the video camera anyway. Um, So I'm going to come in, flip this over, come in from side to side a little bit. Try and just change the color of this a little and uh, clean up the edge. That looks a little better. I'm coming in. Still might have to do a little bit, a little bit more of my vertical strokes here. It's a little difficult, so pardon me for not talking, but you know, concentration and such. I'll just come in vertically again here. 
maybe a couple circle mo circle motions as I need them, but really should have thought through this ahead a little bit, but uh, when I was doing these mountains, I was still kind of getting the hang of the pastels just a little bit. Just pull that color together. Ah, uh, who do we have? Okay, now. That's looking a lot better now. Should be able to grab a little of that pigment around. Not too much trouble at all. Definitely kind of bringing that color back, too. Oh, there we are. So talking to Greg here, might be able to join in with us this evening. <coughs> Hard to say, though. <laughs> Been quite a while. So if I can actually manage to concentrate at some point and not lose my blending stump, perhaps I can actually get this done sometime today. And sort of the, the reverse <coughs> of what I had going on here with the black, I'm going to be trying to do with the white here to offset the two layers. I'm probably going to need a little more white. And a bit of <coughs> maybe finger blending or something. <coughs> Where's my white? There it is. 
Okay, so bring in a little heavier white. I'm just gonna pull that up really dense, like almost like we're kind of making another sky here. Thick, heavy white. And then I'll have to go in <coughs> over top of this other layer again and kind of redo them. But uh, not, uh, not super difficult, though. I'm actually going to go in with my finger here and pull it a bit. And I'm just pulling up here because I don't want to <coughs> pull back into where I was working before. All right, so it looks like uh, Greg from gregimagines.com will be in in just a little bit. Uh, hopefully kind of spice things up in here a little and uh, <clears throat> bring a little conversation to the evening. Okay, so I'm going over top with what? Oh, probably like a yellow. <sighs> Sorry if that freaked anyone out. <laughs> I know some people get really paranoid about cracking knuckles and everything like that. Yellow. I don't think I want to go quite yellow. It's, this is like an ochre. And maybe a combination of the two. I actually kind of like the way that's sitting. A little bit. Pull a little bit of it here. A little bit of it there. This is where this is, see this is where I really needed it and I totally forgot. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's looking a little bit better. And again, you know, <clears throat> some of this is going to be rectified later. I'll hit this with uh, workable fixative, and things will kind of <coughs> start playing out a little bit better. Um, uh, by that point, <coughs> oh, excuse me. By that point, I'll be able to <coughs> work on my lines a little bit better and uh, throw in. Because right now, every, every all the layers are really kind of just separated. There's kind of like Meh. so, kind of playing around with. Trying to get them as close as I can because I know I won't be able to rectify everything later. Probably need to hit some of these edges with a nice dark. I'm not sure what I want to use for that. I was having a lot of luck with this dark brown, so I'll probably use a little bit of that. And this, I, if I touch at all, which I probably won't, it won't be, it basically it won't be much. Yeah, so I'm just going to come in a little tiny bit here. All right, that looks all right. So I got to come in here uh, with an eraser in just a second to kind of clean up these flags. Uh, got 
to get my invites, invites right again. <clears throat> oh, I don't know if I have your uh, other... You have like three different accounts. I don't know if I have all of them in the same... <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can get this right now. I'll send I'll send them to both of your things because I don't I never know which one you're using, <laughs> and or or the way it's going to show up on uh, Google Plus. See how I am. That one and that one. So you can pick whichever one of those goes to actually goes to you. <laughs> I guess. See what's happening over in the comments, if anything. It's been pretty dry this evening. Uh, now I lost all this stuff. I'm supposed to have it open in other windows, and I, I'm not having them open in other windows. Okay, I think I finally got it right now. Hey, there he is. I think your mic's off. Might have to do it auto, auto do it on the. Uh... Oh, okay, I think you're good now. And yeah, I gotta mute it for a second. I gotta move things around. My camera's all, right, all well, you move things around. out of whack. It's been way too long. <laughs> well, hey, if you came into a hangout once in a while, maybe, you know. Uh, yeah. Been right, busy. So where's my funny eraser? There we are. Wow, they Actually, really changed mind. up the setup. <laughs> it's got to have been, what, six months since you were in a hangout? Oh, it's been more At than least. that. <laughs> Here's my, oh, there's my ruler. Genius. Uh, I'm going to grab a pencil here. Grab a pencil. Uh, let's see, now I'm making a mess. Or am I? I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell. I can't tell if I'm making a mess or not. Uh, maybe I can do this with charcoal. Really light. Yeah, there we go. Nice. See now it's like super awkward because you're listening to me talk to myself. Uh. Not that you haven't not that you haven't been doing that for the past what twenty minutes anyway. <coughs> Good old white erasers cut through everything. Closer. Uh, 
Yes. How many viewers do we have tonight? Um, I think we're it. <laughs> there were a couple that said they were going to watch and, you know, are not here, so... But I, but I, but then again, I also put a uh, a message up around three that I'm like, yeah, I might have to cancel. And then an hour later, I'm like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just all over the place as usual. Yeah, well, that happens. And there was a <clears throat> one lady who is a relatively new subscriber. Scroll through and find her. Uh, Sally uh, Adele or Adil, who is from like Egypt, so it's like midnight over there, uh. maybe one a.m. something like that. And oh crap! Totally do? just totally just tripped over my uh, USB extension and unplugged it. And there goes the camera. <laughs> All right, now. Did it come back now? Yes, it did. What was that? Oh, uh, that's my phone. Oh, that was your phone. Yeah. Right. My uh, text ringtone is uh, Catbug from Bravest Warriors. Okay. I have, I have no idea what that is now. Uh, Bravest Warriors. It's a web series from... Uh, Frederator, the company that uh, Fred Cybert owns, and it's by the same creator, Pendleton Ward, as Adventure Time. Uh, uh, it's a hysterical web series, and one of the characters, Catbug, is like part cat, part ladybug, and he's adorable as all get out, and as we're starting to learn, somewhat violent and ridiculous. Uh, but he's a cute little kitty character that everybody loves because he's Catbug. <laughs> and if you're best friends with him, he'll make you soft tacos. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's um. Just watch it. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a little insane. Bravest I'll Warriors on Cartoon Hangover on YouTube. Cartoon Hangover. <laughs> Sounds yep. like it's right up your alley. <laughs> oh, it is. It's spectacular. Uh, I've been watching it for quite a while now. <laughs> Well, uh, I know it's been a while and there's not many people watching right now, but for any of the my newer subscribers, you want to go ahead and introduce yourself. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> um, since I what, revamped your site or something since then. <laughs> no, I just changed around some of the layout and added in the new webcomic um, that actually is a few weeks behind now. <laughs> Stupid life getting in the way. Um, well, it's pretty standard for you. Yeah, it's a regular issue for me, and it's slowly picking up again. Just won't let me be. Um, yeah, I'm Greg from Greg Imagines. Uh, I do cartoony stuff, uh, graphic design, web design, um, 3D modeling and animation, um, whatever kind of mood I'm in, whatever floats my boat. Uh, that's that. You can check it out, gregimagines.com. I also have up there right now a uh, new webcomic I've started, uh, Squirrely Corn, uh, about a squirrel and an acorn. Uh, it's loosely based off of the adventures of my girlfriend and myself um, and some of the ridiculous conversations we have. Okay, then. Yeah, uh, that's that. <laughs> this is horribly crooked. What are you doing? You make, are, you, are you... I was trying to set up... I had to start a new sketchbook. Um, oh. Always exciting, but I was trying to get my sketchbook set up again with my panel layouts for my cartoon. And unfortunately, trying to trace it because I'm too lazy to just measure it, uh, ended up being pretty horrible. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably just going to doodle all over it and ignore it and just deal with it later. Right. Yay for lazy artists. <laughs> That's pretty much been me all day. 
dropping it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll come back to that page later. We'll clean it up. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping I'd have inspiration, come up with something to draw when I hopped in, and it hasn't well, happened I, yet. I can, <laughs> you can do. I don't know because we haven't been in touch much lately, but uh, I started a second channel now. The uh, sketch uh, every day. Sketch every day, and uh, <laughs> you're welcome to take one of the prompts from that. I I started doing that on March 1st, and I am already uh, like. It's like, ah, oh, how the hell am I going to keep doing this? <laughs> yeah, I was able to, uh, was it I could, Friday, I think, I, even, I went through and watched all of them. Uh, yeah. As I got behind, I haven't watched any since Friday, so. Uh, so there was a Saturday edition, which was longer than, because um, all of them were kind of by like a minute and a half. Saturday edition is like four minutes, because I'm going through everything I did in the week and uh, Talk about other things, and that's and that's also the time where I'd be showing off other people's stuff if anyone had submitted anything in the first week, but they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the terrible laugh right there. Well, <laughs> it's YouTube. You never know who you're gonna get. Um, yeah, and it's brand new, you know, channel build, building up from scratch again. So you know, it's right. But the. Uh, Engagement seems to be a little bit better already, so <laughs> that's good. Um, let's see. Today's theme was regrowth. Regrowth. Hmm. Because I was lazy. I didn't want to do a real sketch, so I just did some funny ink crap. <laughs> that's right. You heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> it's official. It was ink crap. No, what what inspired me to do it in the first place though is kind of what uh, today's video was. It was this guy uh, who created a, a series of, of uh, videos called the Daily Monster. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Those were great. Yeah, like, it I was very them. frustrating to watch because it made me feel awful about myself as an artist. But but <laughs> I was I was trying to figure out what he did at first, and I was like, it's a drop of ink. But how did he do? I'm like, oh my god, it's a can of air. <laughs> So all he does is put a drop of ink and will with the air. And yep. I'm like, holy crap, that is amazing. So I'm like, maybe I should try something like this. So I was tr I was playing around with the the air in the can, and that's what was that's what today was because it was I was lazy. But nothing wrong with that. <laughs> um. But yeah, it was. I, whatever I found that at the beginning of the year, and I was like, "This is amazing." Yeah, I stumbled across that a few times now over the years, and I'll forget about it, and then all of a sudden pop up. I'm like, "This is so great! Why am I not? Oh wait, I have seen this before." <laughs> and I get confused because I'm like, "I haven't seen this one," and uh, it always throws me for a loop. He did a um, a TED talk at some point. Oh really? Uh, yeah, and it's it's really good. Because he's it, it's he he makes it like just really goofy and silly, and there's a point where he's like talking back and forth with one of his made-up characters. <laughs> he's like, they get a little feisty. You gotta be careful. Let's see. That? It might it might might be like TEDx or and not uh, one of the main ones, but right. Q and A. What is this? <laughs> oh yeah, you can you can actually act ask direct questions to things. I think to me or to somebody, to any of us here. Uh, it's I don't even know if disabled, I so that's yeah, what I don't, think, I, I don't think I turned. I don't think I turned it on. I always forget because it's like this extra thing in here. Let me see if I can't open this up. As I tried to pull up comments, I thought in the Hangout toolbox, but yeah, you could you could only turn on this feature before and and after. Uh, turn on. Wait, you can only turn this feature on and off before the broadcast. Yeah, so I can't uh, actually do anything with it right now, unfortunately. Oh, that was odd. <laughs> yeah. But 
I'm getting to the point where I can't do anything else with this until I spray it whenever tomorrow. So, I might have to start cleaning my mess up. <coughs> add a couple other things in that I think I can add in, but... Did your camera die? I Well, it did when I tripped and unplugged it. But uh, it's, I, I think it's just because the connection's so bad down here that it, it kind of comes and goes. So I don't know if it was... I'm playing around with a bunch of buttons. I didn't know if I broke something okay. or what. Because all I've seen is your logo and, like, bouncing circles. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice effect, but... Um, I, I think it's just one of those things because the connection's so bad down here that it... Uh, all right, just make sure I didn't break yeah, it again. Barely, yeah. I don't know if it's the same or different for... Um, for the viewers or not, but all, all zero of them. <laughs> you know, something. All right, I lost my other pencil. Again, there it is. Yeah, it looks like it's down on the Hangout, too, for the video. Well, that's good. <laughs> So, other than the webcomic, you, anything else exciting? Um, not really. Uh, keeping ridiculously busy with the normal. Um, the normal stuff. Yep. Is a uh, challenged uh, Saturday with the youth group. Um, if they get enough people, they're going to shave my head. Are you trying that again? Uh, it was kind of brought up, and I was... I said, all right, I'm okay to do it. <laughs> I'm game. And shortly after I issued the challenge, one of the kids actually asked, so what about your beard? Oh, that's sacred ground right there. Adults that were there, of all that, started chanting and started a group chant... Uh, to coerce me into it. So now, now my beard is on the line, depending on how many kids show up for the next couple oh, of no. events. Um, at which point I may be bald and beardless, uh, which would be the first time in they're about gonna, six years I've not had a beard. Or something. That's, I don't, Minus I don't the even fact know. of it'll so mostly funny. all be back within a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> It's like my uh, hair was pretty fast. I'm not overly see? concerned, but it'd be a pretty miserable day. <laughs> did did you did you see Evan Almighty? The the Bruce yeah. Almighty sequel. Uh, you, oh yeah. You know when he's like shaving, and he, he's covered, and then it's gone, and it's the back. Yeah, it'll pretty That'll much be, be like that. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of between <laughs> that and uh, the Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about that one. And for good reason, of course, but... <laughs> well, compared to the sequels, it was pretty good. Yeah, sort of. It's, it's not a top holiday favorite, but... No. Yeah, it's good to watch every couple of years. You're like, oh, yeah, I remember this, and then by the time it ends, you're like, yeah, I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> well... <coughs> oh, I had three up there. What the hell was I thinking with three of them? Stupid flags. Okay. I, I don't even want to know how much chalk is probably on my face right now. <laughs> like try, I try not to wipe, but I have no idea. It's probably not that. I, I'm usually more careful about that. But 
You never know when I might screw something up. Uh, red. Uh, red. Okay. So are you actually taking the challenge? I'm not even paying attention. Uh, I hadn't decided yet. It wasn't so far. Um... Uh, Take a walk around here. Oh, you've got one of those funny pencils. <laughs> funny pencils. I, I picked up something like that at the store just recently. It's not the same kind. They're green ones. Yeah, mom was... I got a conversation with mom about uh, nice drawing pencils and told her I really want to get some black wing Palominos. And... <laughs> There's no way. You well, know, the new ones are that, significantly though. cheaper. Um, I got a, I got the a new story ones are still that. great, so I figure, eh, whatever. And I told them I, these I, really nice. And I, I might actually have to get one or two of them because I've been using this pencil to, to in my sketchbook that is actually from that same era of pencils that they don't make anymore. Oh, yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm going to have to find more of these. And I looked I'm like, oh, they don't make them anymore. Fantastic. And then I was like, oh, well, I can use my uh, my Prismacolor ebony pencils. And I look at my pencil box, and I had three of them, and they're gone. I have no idea where they went. They're just gone. I actually went... Um, I was digging around somewhere. I actually found replacement erasers for a Palomino. What? No idea where the pencil I, is, but I have I two what, extra I erasers. Know. And I was like, I don't know. Well, that's, that's kind of cool, I, we, but kind of useless. <laughs> There was this box that we got from my, my great-grand-aunt's house, um, which is now my regular aunt's house. <laughs> and um, it, it contained, like, all these old mechanical pencils. And it also contained a couple of these, which are um, number I three pencils. The camera's still off. This is, this is a... This is, well, I, anyway, it's, it's purple, and it's a number three. <laughs> 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 because, you know, number three. <laughs> Alright, let me try and... Oh, yeah. I, God, my, I don't know how long my camera's been off. But I'm finishing up this thing, and I'm going to have to unplug this and plug this back in and see what happens. And hopefully, it turns back on, but it doesn't. <sighs> Hold on a second. I might have to switch back and forth to my webcam for a second. Uh, okay, sh crappy web webcam. And then, technically, they're both webcams, but... Uh, there you go. Let me see which thing is actually recording my voice, too, because it's supposed to be my... It's really soft, though, whatever it is. Hold on. Okay, how's that? Yes? No? Uh, still pretty quiet. Okay, why are you not using the right microphone? It should be. It's so much work. It should be right here, right? It does? Is it louder? That's better, yeah. Okay, I don't know. just had to adjust, I guess. Okay, so anyhow, uh, I don't know how much was actually in the Hangout and how much wasn't, but this is how far I got in my drawing before I have to <coughs> um, do whatever. <laughs> uh, spray it. <laughs> right. So, uh, yeah. <coughs> Anyhow, um, so there are these pencils <coughs> that were sitting around in this, like an old cigar box, basically. And I lost it. <laughs> the hell? Oh, there it is. <laughs> right in front of me. This is uh, where there's number two pencils. This is actually a number three. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. I, I thought about, we, there was always the joke, you know, take it to, to school one day and like, pull out a number two pencil. Uh, teacher, all I have is a number three. <laughs> Just for them to go, what? <laughs> 
And uh, my guess is there's probably like actual lead in it or something. <laughs> that's, that's probably why they don't make them anymore. I have no idea though. I could be that something just makes that, it that much better. <clears throat> could could be something to sit and uh, check Wikipedia for someday. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the the ones I picked up were the uh, the Dermot uh, Onyx pencils, just because I'm like, yeah, let's try these out. That's what I got, uh, Dermot Graphit. Yeah, me medium and uh, and dark, because I saw he had the little red thing, might have a little green thing on top. And uh, yeah, mine were. Uh, it's it's all right. It's not. Mine's out of a nice little four pack here. Ended up with two different ones. I have the uh, soft and medium. Uh-huh. So I've been playing around with them. My thought was the score. I've got eight pencils that are pre-sharpened. I don't have to sharpen any <laughs> pencils for a while. <laughs> I've already been through yeah, one, and I'm on my second uh, one now. <laughs> with with the medium and the dark one, I'm like, this is all right. These are really nice, you know, like drawing and sketching pencils, but they're still not what I need. <laughs> I think I was I was in uh, I think it was like two hangouts ago or something. Somebody was like, "Hey, what pencil are you using?" I'm like, "I'm like, oh, this. They don't make these anymore." <laughs> so yeah. Okay, I can start cleaning some of this stuff up. I was saying when I started the hangout that uh, the, uh, the the range of pastels I'm using right now are like dirt cheap to super expensive. <laughs> I'm just kind of mixing them all together and defiling yeah, it's whatever you them. got laying around. Defiling each them with each other, you know. Well, because I got these, I got a box of the Rembrandt ones that were on clearance. I don't know. Last time I was at the art store, whenever that was, I don't know, a month ago or two. And uh, I was like, I saw it. It was like a box of these, uh, like it's 15 half sticks and like a thing of pastel paper for like ten dollars. I'm like, holy crap, that just doesn't happen. So I of course had to, of course I had to get them. <laughs> oh yeah. Then I had these little cheap ones that I got, you know, years ago and pretty much haven't touched much since then. I so said the only ones I have floating around are uh the ones that came in those giant packages from the 90s that had the tiny little markers, colored pencils. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> the pastels, and then like pads of little pads of paper. It was like the 96-piece <laughs> art kit or something. <laughs> I got it as a kid. And yeah. It's still floating around somewhere. I've got some of that stuff in my collections around as well. Oh, and then these were the Prismacolor New Pastels, which are much closer to Conte Crayon. Um, actually, well, holy crap! This is the this is how crazy this is. This came these came out of my mom's set, which is where I got the same um, the pencil that they don't make anymore. And this is it's the I just noticed it's the same company. It's the Everhart Faber <laughs> Incorporated that doesn't exist anymore. They were bought out by somebody else. And uh, but Prismacolor makes essentially these. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I've got all this stuff that you know doesn't exist anymore. Just because it was my mom's from when she was in school. <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with that. Okay, I don't have any water, and I should. Oh wait, I got some black water. Black water. That'll work. Wipe my hands off with the black water. <laughs> I've also got disinfectant wipes over in the bar, but you know. You haven't even been over to see the bar in, in, since I made it, have you? No, I haven't. Probably that is one of the first free nights I've had in months. <laughs> Jeez. He's, you're too busy for yourself. Oh, I definitely am. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> Are you, are you still working at the school too, or? Yep. So I guess the the tr the contract that didn't exist is still kind of there. Uh, yeah, another company uh, picked up the contract, and 
Uh, they were required whenever they bought the contract. They were required to hire me uh, for the position, so oh. the school didn't have to worry about a downtime or transition of employees, uh, which worked out really well for me. Yeah. So you can keep your closet job. That's right. Okay, move the camera out of the way. So you can. So I, I know I asked you this uh, uh, earlier, but uh, since the Mac Pro has now been out, uh, I have to ask what your thoughts are on it. I know we talked a little bit about it back uh, when it was first announced, but now that the you know the can is out. <laughs> Actually, I haven't seen one, uh, and I've looked into it a couple times and I've tried to avoid it just because it's depressing knowing <laughs> I'm not getting one anytime soon. <laughs> um, oh. That's okay. It's it's you you don't need one for any reason. Let's be honest. I kind of do because the one I've got at work right now is um, about six years old, and yeah, it's kind of ridiculous that I'm supposed to be the uh, tech service, the service technician, and I've got older equipment than the people I'm serving because um, <laughs> nobody wants to remember that I'm down there and need equipment. Well. At least, at least with the old one, you can upgrade it a little bit. Yeah, but I'm not going to upgrade it because it's technically not mine, and I don't think the company's yeah. going to upgrade it because they don't care. <laughs> they no, keep forgetting I'm down there. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, I mean, it, it's got way more processing power than like anyone ever needs unless you're like editing 4K video in which case you know it's like mm, like do I need to edit 4K video on three different screens I don't know I'm, I'm all for it I would totally use it if I had it um, <laughs> I would still find a way to max it out doing like day to day stuff <laughs> Uh, there's a oh, there's this really great picture I saw a, a few months ago. It's the old Mac Pro next to the new one, and the old one is just the box sitting there, and then the new one has all like like six like USB adapters to it with all these extension things, all these wires, all these things, all, all these things going every which way, and all these extra plugs and things coming out from it. It's just looks completely ridiculous. And it's like, yeah, it's cleaner. Until you have to plug something into it. But, you know. Well, no systems without its faults. <laughs> but, you know, I can just sit over here and be a hater and you'll ignore me anyway. <laughs> What's up? I can sit... I can sit uh, <laughs> so, yeah, okay. I almost didn't catch that. I noticed. Okay. I think, I think it's actually coming along now. Oh, look, there's a spray can from earlier. <laughs> uh, uh, I should work on something else. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I can only store a, a piece of canvas anyhow. I've got this. If I can manage to find others. It's pretty bad when I organize it down here and I can't even find anything. That's why I never organize my stuff. <laughs> ah! Down on wires. So I, I guess you can see this from the last uh, hangout, the way I've got my laptop set up now, so I can get the best possible connection in the room. So, on a table. <laughs> and I'll pop it on another table. <laughs> so, uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, I got all my stuff just kind of thrown on one desk, assuming, well, I'll just find a little corner to draw on. And hope it's enough space. Well, that's how it is once I move my computer up to the desk. I'm like, well... I'll be, well, actually, what I do is I have one of those little tables that I sit next to my desk now. Sort of in a little extension. <laughs> mm, i got to get this out of the way. I don't want to rub it off. Messing mm -hmm. around with the canvas. Everybody, I gotta see where everybody is here. Everyone's like, yeah, we're coming. And I'm like, no, you're not. Liar. Oh, man. Where did everybody go? Well, it is a school night for a lot of these guys, too, though. Oh, I sent Brian a message a couple minutes ago. Okay. Then he quickly logged off. Because <laughs> he does that. Yeah. Shows how much he wants to talk to you, you know. Oh, crap, it's Craig. It's <laughs> an amazing sound. Mainly because I don't know what it is. like only well, don't really know what it is. It's just kind of like mm, I just hear like this chirpy sound that could be from anything. Let's see if I can find it for you. Um. <laughs> oh, what dinged? Who dinged? Somebody dinged. That's probably me. Oh. Yeah, you dinged. Haha, <laughs> I dinged. Had videos. There we go. We'll pull up catbook for you here. Um. We'll just give you a, uh, yeah, I'll give you a compilation of some of his better stuff. Destroyed. Oh, man, bandwidth is dying. Hold on. Hold on, i got to find my connection. Down to two bars from three. I, <laughs> the, ta the table thing is not working anymore. Let's get rid of that. Uh, that's a little better. I found it. I found it again. Okay. Right. Yes, playing with the... Oh, what, why did... Uh, I don't know if you muted, muted yourself. Yeah, it mutes whenever you start playing a video. This is ridiculous. What? Okay. Let's see. Play. Why won't you play? <laughs> wow, that is ridiculous. <laughs> Cadbog is amazing. Uh Bravest Warriors, highly recommend it. Okay, I gotta get out of this now because I'm losing all forms of bandwidth. Okay. <laughs> it's like as soon as that started to load, it was like, ah, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> oh, that wasn't straight at all.
Oh, so I didn't. Uh, I don't think I ever asked you what you thought of the, uh, the spaghetti dinner sale since you were there and not not and not helping. <laughs> yeah, it was different for a change, not having to do anything and just being able to kick back and enjoy the food while it's hot and fresh. And, uh, <laughs> that was nice. Uh, you had some nice pieces up. Um, didn't look like you had as many interactions though. Um, no, I uh, actually decided it would be my last year there because it's like I'm not getting anywhere. Like one, I didn't even hit my quota, and right. two, um, it's like the it, like if the best part of that night is hearing that all of my art is you know greatly loved by all the five year olds, that's not <laughs> helping me very much. <laughs> I think it was because, you know, the first year I was like, wow, this is new and different. Now it's just kind of like, oh, yeah, this is like so happening, you know. Right. So, <clears throat> got to look for a new venue now. Go about here. Yeah. We've just got to come back with something amazingly new and awesome next year. I, I thought I had some really good ones. And well, I don't, I don't want to say I thought I had some. I do, did have some really good ones. <coughs> but um, I don't know. Things just, just wasn't really a uh, real big response this year. But they said they uh, made more just with the dinner alone. So right. Didn't even need me. <laughs> It does add to the atmosphere of the uh, the room, though, having the art up there instead of just blank walls. Yeah, well, next year, next year they'll have to deal with blank walls then. So, we'll see what happens. I've actually got something for us right now, though, that I. I can't talk quite talk about yet, but uh, it's 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 gonna it's gonna be big if if it and when's that going down? Um, it's like like I said, I I don't I really don't have any details on it yet, and I can't I can't really talk about it yet. But it's just about I, the I, uh, I, I post you had up a couple days ago. So <laughs> what's that? Let's let's say it's somewhat global. Oh, global. All right, that's not the one I was thinking of. Ooh, I'm getting a call. No, All right, no. I'm gonna disappear for a few minutes. Hang you on. Kinda, you kind of just you kind of just have to wait and 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 stay tuned on it because it's. <laughs> I wish I'm like I wish I could say some more, more than that, but I I really don't know right now, so. Teaser. <laughs> it's a funny story. What? Just got a call. Phone was ringing. Picked up the phone. Said hello. They said hey, and then heard a prompt. Hang on a second. I'm getting another call. And they just hung up on me. <laughs> All right. Sounds like you were really important to talk to.
record three different videos today. So, turning out all right. So we'll see what happens in the next, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes we hang out and uh, see if anything else happens uh, in the comments or anything else. And if not, then we'll uh, end the live for the night. Oh, man. Where'd you go? You're frozen. And muted. Unless you did that to yourself. I don't know. All right, so let's see where I'm at with the rest of this stuff. Oh man, that bled right through it too. Damn. I know the mic's muted, but can you still hear me over there? Give me a sign. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. So, can't really work on that right now. I could probably just take the camera up. And get out of my pants. Pull, pull things up a little bit, who knows. Uh, I don't know where I'm putting all this crap. Alright, I think that's going to be about it. Uh, I'm going to end the live portion of the broadcast. Uh, thanks to anyone who was here for tuning, that, that happened to tune in, but uh, I think at this point, uh, thanks to anyone who's, anyone who's uh, watching <coughs> this after the fact. I should probably bring this up here. So, uh, thanks anyone for tuning in, and uh, see you guys next time, I believe. I think that's about it. Okay. Greg, do you want to say anything <laughs> before we go? I think on the phone. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah. See you guys next time. Oh, oh wait. What? Uh, uh, <laughs> That is classy. Thanks for watching. I'm coming back soon to the internet. Some someday. <laughs> All right.
So thanks, everybody. See you next time.